Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you may know by today's title, today I will be bringing you a girl's boss video. I personally really enjoy watching this type of videos. I like to see how people define girl boss or or what do they think makes a girl boss. So I have seen a lot of videos that talk about how to get your life together, how to be more organized, how to plan ahead, how to basically do materialistic things like getting up earlier and all of those things are very helpful but I feel like a girl boss is so many other things for example there are many people out there that are guy bosses or girl bosses you know like for me I myself consider myself a girl boss so for me a girl boss is a person that does so many things during the day or they have so like so many responsibilities for example just going to school that it makes a guy or girl a girl boss because they're taking responsibility and they're doing something for the future you know instead instead of just staying back and not doing anything with their lives or a person that goes and thrives to be the best that they can be and that the only person that they fight against Every single day is themselves, you know, instead of talking about other people or or competing against other people. Like, I think that a way for you to be a girl boss is not to look at what other people may or may not have or be jealous. It's just to be yourself, you know. It's just to do the best that you can do or to be the best that you can be. For me, that's being a girl boss. For me, a girl boss is that if you fall down and you get back up and take those bad moments as, as a learning experience, I think that that makes you a guy or a girl boss, you know? Or if you're a mom and daily you hustle, like if you don't work but you work at home, you clean, you cook, you do laundry, you do shopping, all the stuff that a mom has to do. But aside from that, you also go to work. I think that that's an amazing thing, like, that's very hard to do, like, I myself, um, I have two jobs, I still go to school, and I still have my two kids, you know, and I still have to do what a girl, a girl has to do for her school, I have to be a parent, I have to be a wife, I have to be many things, so I myself consider to be a girl boss, not necessarily because I have a a business that most people I think that the word girl boss came obviously from the serious girl boss but it's mostly entitled to entrepreneurs but not every entrepreneur well actually every entrepreneur may be a girl boss or a guy boss but it doesn't necessarily mean that a person has to be an entrepreneur to be a girl boss do you guys kind of understand what I'm trying to say here I'm kind of mixing myself so, anywho, so just doing the things that you usually do during the day to try to make things better, to try to progress, I think that that's amazing. So, I just wanted to give that message out, you know, and and not necessarily focus on what most of people say, like, yeah, um, get organized, wake up earlier, drink, drink water, be healthy, yeah. Those are amazing things that you should all do, that we should all do, including myself, you know. But I think that there's so much more to being a girl boss. But aside from that, um, I think that one of the most important things of being a girl boss is, or guy boss is to love yourself, to have self-care. You know, because most of the times we care so much about other stuff like our families, our friends or work or whatever we, we have to do. But we sometimes forget or oftentimes forget that we have to take care of ourselves because if we don't take care of ourselves, who's going to take care of us, you know? So to take a day and unwind or in every day keep about an hour for yourself and just unwind and do something that you enjoy such as reading or taking a nap. Or during the weekend if you can going I don't know to a spa getting a little massage just doing something that you would truly enjoy and that relaxes you I think that that's a very important key to being a bit healthier and being happy you know just to de-stress yourself because life is very stressing overall so we just need time to love us you know 
So, so leaving that aside, I um, actually have some books right here that I do believe that the more that you read, the more knowledge that you gain. So I have been reading a couple books. I do have two in Spanish, so for those that are Spanish speaking, I do really recommend them. One of them is called Detox Emocional, which basically talks about how to detoxify your emotional life. Um, it starts off like with your nuclear family, like if you guys have any trauma in the past, it basically tries to take you back to your childhood. So you talk about like it, it, it gives a little bit of lessons um, that it that you could do so like if you have a resentment towards your parents or towards a sibling how is that affecting you now as an adult it also talks about like the relationships between a husband and a wife a boyfriend and a girlfriend if it's toxic or not and how to define or how to how to identify if your relationship is being toxic or if things from your past are causing your your um re i can talk today your relationship to not function that also gives you tips and tricks. Also, if you work in a hostile em environment in which your boss is not letting you be the best that you can be, stuff like that. So I really recommend this. It's again, it's detox emocional, em emotional detox, and it is by Sylvia Olmedo. Olmedo. I'm not sure if they have an English version of it, but it's pretty good. And another one, it's by. Um, it's called. Despierta con Cala, Inspiraciones para una Vida en Equilibrio. It's basically um, how to make your life balance, how to balance your life. So the author is Ismael Cala. Um, it's a pretty good talks about, um, about a better life and how you could achieve your dreams and your goals and stuff like that. Then going to my English ones, a lot of you guys have seen it in most Girl Boss videos, which is the Girl Boss book. So it just talks about Sofia Amoroso, Amoroso, how do we pronounce her last name? I'm sorry, I butchered it, um, about how she started her business and how her life went bad, you know, and you guys have probably seen or heard of The Girl Boss um, on Netflix. So yeah, it just talks about how she became an entrepreneur and how she started off her business and stuff like that. Um, I have known a lot of people and I myself have struggled with self-esteem so every now and then it's good to read about how to improve your self-esteem or how not to let yourself go you know how not to feel down when things don't go the way that you plan them to go so I have two books that talk about um about self-esteem so the first one is self-esteem and it's uh let's see let's see if I can read the back for you guys it says, it's easy to feel good about yourself when life is going well. A promotion at work or a new relationship could do wonders for, for your self-image. But what happens when things don't go so well? The problems with basing self-worth on life's um, cir circumstances is that circumstances can change. The good news is that lasting self-esteem has less to do with what's going on in your life and more to do with how you interpret it. So it is actually a pretty good book. I actually, the first time that I rented it was at the library, and from there I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to keep reading it, so I bought it at Barnes & Noble. Then the other one is basically about self-esteem and how to be assertive, and it is called The Assertiveness, Assertiveness Guide for Women, and the author is Julie de Acevedo Hanks, and it says... Do you have trouble speaking up for yourself and communicating with needs to others? I mean, your needs to others. Do you find it difficult to set healthy boundaries only to lash out in res respectful, res resentful, or hostile ways when you feel like you're not being heard or respected? Ma many women struggle with assertiveness for different reasons. Even highly confident women can have difficulty voicing their thoughts and feelings. So how can you express yourself effectively while also being sensitive to others? So it um, it's supposed to be a guide to help you communicate your, your, your needs and wants and balance your life. So it's a pretty good book. And another one that's pretty popular now, it's also You're a Badass, which basically is also a self-help book on how to become the best version of yourself, how to not let things get in your way or how to overcome any type of obstacles 
So, yeah, those are my books. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And until next time.